Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the problem based on the nodal analysis by equation method. The problem contains the three nodes. The question is find the node voltage for the network shown below. So the network is available here. So there are three current sources available. The resistors are connected. By inspecting this diagram, we can easily identify this is the node 1. We will take this is the node 1. The voltage at node 1 is V1. This is node 2. Node is nothing but junction point. The current, uh, the current source and the resistors are connected together. So, this is the second node. The voltage is V2. This will be the third node. The voltage at the node is V3. So, this is the reference node, the return point reference node node 4 but the potential at this reference node is 0 so we have three nodes 1 2 and 3 with voltage v1 v2 and v3 and fourth node is the reference node so our aim is to find the node voltage v1 v2 and v3 the current sources available see the current direction so it's going in the right hand side it means it is going towards the node 2 going away from the node 1. Similarly, this current source going away from second node going towards the third node. Similarly, this one going towards the first node away from the third node. So, the current direction also important. In order to find the V1, V2, V3, we can apply the Kirchhoff's current law to node 1, 2 and 3. We will frame the three equations. By applying the Kirchhoff's current law to the each three nodes, we can frame the equation. By solving the equation, we can be able to find V1, V2 and V3. First, we will apply the Kirchhoff's current law at node 1, at this node, node 1, this is node 1. What is Kirchhoff's current law? The current at a node is equal to 0 or incoming current is equal to outgoing current. Incoming current is equal to outgoing current. So, these already two current sources available at this node, this 4 ohm available and 3 ohm available. What are the other currents? The current due to this 2.4 ohm resistor and 1 ohm resistor. So, these two current is equal to outgoing current, these two. Then, how will you find the current flowing through this 1 ohm resistor? I equal to V by R. What is the voltage then? What is the voltage across this 1 ohm resistor? This 1 ohm resistor connected between node 1 and node 2. So, the difference between these two voltage will appear across the resistor 1 ohm. So, V1 minus V2 is the voltage across the first, uh, e, across the resistor R1, resistor 1 ohm. So, V1 minus V2 divided by 1. So, this is nothing but a current flowing through the 1 ohm resistor. I equal to V by R. Right? This 1 ohm resistor connected between node 1 and node 2. So, the voltage across the 1 ohm resistor is V1 minus V2 divided by 1 will give the current. Similarly, we have one more resistor available at this node. 2.5 ohm resistor. It is connected in the node 1 at a voltage of V1. The another end is the reference node that is 0, potential is 0. So, V1 divided by 2.5 is the current flowing through the 2.4 ohm resistor. So, these are all the two current is flowing through the 1 ohm resistor and 2.5 ohm resistor. So, that is equal to current flowing to by the current source. So, this 4 ohm is coming towards the node 1. This 3 ohm is going away from the node 1. So, this is the incoming current, this is the outgoing current. So, 4 minus 3. This 4 ohm is plus 4, but this 3 ohm is the minus 3 because it is going away. So, we are subtracting this current. So, Kirchhoff's current law is nothing but current at a junction is 0 or incoming current is equal to outgoing current. So, we need to find what is the current flowing through this 1 ohm resistor and 2.5 ohm resistor and what is the current due to this current sources. So, for 1 ohm resistor we calculated it is connected between the node 1 and 2. So, V1 minus V2 divided by 1 
the 2.5 ohm resistor it is connected in node 1 so v1 divided by 2.5 that is equal to 4 ohm coming towards the node 4 ampere this 3 ampere going away from the node 1 so it is minus 3 so we'll take this is the equation number 1 now we'll go to the second node what are the sources available here this 3 ohm is coming towards the second node this 4 ohm is going away from the node so the t these two current sources available what are the resistors available this 1 ohm this 4 ohm and 2 ohm these three resistors are connected at this point this 1 ohm 2 ohm and 4 ohm now we need to find what is the voltage across this resistor first we will take this first 1 ohm resistor it is connected between second node and first node so v2 minus v1 divided by 1 so while referring the second node v2 by v1 while referring the first node v1 by v v1 minus v2 which one we are referring that should be appear first v2 minus v1 divided by 1 then this 4 ohm available 4 ohm where it is connected between second node and reference node so reference node the voltage is 0 so v2 divided by 4 this 2 ohm is connected between second node and third node so v2 minus v3 divided by 2 then that is equal to what are the current this current 3 is coming inside so 3 this 4 ohm going away so minus 4 3 minus 4 so in the node 1 we have 1 ohm resistor 4 ohm resistor 2 ohm resistor that currents are calculated that is equal to based on the current direction 3 minus 4 on right hand side so this is equation number 2 now we'll apply the Kirchhoff's current law to the third node at third node what are the current sources available this 4 ohm is coming towards the third node another 4, 4, 4 ampere 4 ampere is coming towards the node 3 but another current source 4 ampere is going away from the third node right one 4 ampere is coming towards another 4 ampere is going away so 4 minus 4 right one is incoming one is outgoing then what are the resistors connected at this this 2 ohm and 5 ohm these two resistors are connected this 2 ohm is connected between second node and third node so v3 minus v2 divided by 2 so while referring the node 3 means v3 will appear first v3 minus v2 divided by 2 this 5 ohm is connected between node third node and reference node reference node is the uh, potential is 0 so v3 divided by 5 that is equal to 4 minus 4 this is equation number 3 right so we need to find node 1 node 2 means first we need to find what are the resistors connected what is the current flowing the resistor that is equal to what are the current sources whether incoming or outgoing accordingly we need to frame the equation now we will simplify these equations so that we can go for a solution by solving these three equation we are able to find the node voltage v1 v2 and v3 first we'll consider the equation one this equation one will simplify this equation one is v1 minus v2 divided by 1 plus v1 by 2.5 equal to 4 minus 3 so v1 minus v2 by 2 means 1 means v1 minus v2 v1 divided by 2.5 means 0.4 v1 this 1 divided by 2.5 is 0.4 that is equal to 4 minus 3 means 1 right so here v1 is available here 0.4 v1 is available so 1 plus 0.4 1.4 v1 minus this v2 that is equal to 1 we will take this equation number 4 now equation 1 is simplified and given as a given the number as 4 now consider the second equation v2 minus v1 by 1 v2 by 4 plus v2 minus v3 by 2 equal to 3 minus 4 so this one can be written as v2 minus v1 v2 by 4 is 0.25 v2 1 divided by 4 is 0.25 
1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 V2 minus 0 0.5 V3 equal to 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Now this V1 is available here, minus V1. V2 available, V2, 0 0.25 V2, 0 0.5 V2. So, 1 V2 plus 0 0.25 is 1.25. 1.25 plus 0.5 is 1.75 V2. Then V1 V3 term is available. Minus 0.5 V3 equal to minus 1. We will take this equation number 5. Now equation 2 is simplified and framed as it is named as given the number as 5. Now we will take the third equation. V3 minus V2 divided by 2 plus V3 by 5 equal to 4 minus 4. So, this 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. So, 0 0.5 V3 minus 0 0.5 V2 plus 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2 V3 equal to 4 minus 4 is 0. Here, the V2 is available. V1 is not available. So, minus 0 0.5 V2. V3 available 2 times. 2 times. 0 0.5 V3 plus 0 0.2 V3. So, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 is 0 0.7 V3. That is equal to 0. We take the equation number 6. Now, equation 3 is simplified and given the number as 6. So, from equation 1, 2, 3, we framed the simplified equation 4, 5, 6. Right? So, these 4, 5, 6 equations are available. So, this is equation 4, 5 and 6. So, by solving this equation, we are able to find the voltage V1, V2 and V3. Now, consider the equation 5 and 6. In this, we are going to eliminate the term V3. Right? From equation 5 and 6, we can eliminate V3. In order to eliminate, here the coefficient 0.5 is available. Here, 0.7 is available. So, you have to multiply in a reverse order. This equation is multiplied by 0.7 this equation is multiplied by 0.5 so that we will get the same coefficient 0.35 right in order to cancel this v3 this 0.7 is multiplied with equation 5 0.5 is multiplied with equation 6 so that we will get the same magnitude same coefficient in v3 so equation 5 is multiplied by 0.7 this equation available Equation 6 is multiplied by 0.5. This equation is available. See, these two are same. One is negative and one is positive. So, easily we can add these two equations. Because one is negative and one is positive. By adding, automatically this got cancelled. So, 0.7 V1 is available. V1 term is not available here. Here, 1.225 V2 here minus 0.25 V2. So, by adding these two we got 0.975 V2. That is equal to 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7. Here another term is 0. We will take this is equation number 7. Right. Now, we got V1 and V2. Now, consider this equation 7 and equation number 4. In this, we can cancel this term. V1 is available here. Here also V1 available. Here V2 is available. So, 0.7 is available. Here 1.4 is available. So, if you multiply this equation 7 with 2, here also we will get 1.4. So, that we can cancel the term V. Now, we will go for this. Now, we are going to cancel the term V1 between equation 4 and equation 7 by multiplying 2 in the equation 7. So, equation 4 is 1.4 V1 minus V2 equal to 1. Now, equation 7 is multiplied by 2. So, that 0.7 into 2 is minus 1.4 V1. Then, 1.95 V2 equal to minus 1.4. Now, see these two coefficients are equal. One is positive and one is negative. So, simply we can add these two. So, this got cancelled. So, by adding these two, we got 0.95 V2 equal to 1 minus 1.4 is minus 0.4. So, V2 equal to minus 0.4 divided by 0 0.95. That is minus 0.421 voltage. Now, we got the 
second node voltage V2 is calculated by simplify by solving the equations step by step we got the value V2. From V2 we can find V1 and V3 right so that equations are available here. I will take the equation 1, 1.4 V1 minus V2 equal to 1. Now we know the value V2, V2 equal to minus 0.421. So we will substitute here, 1.4 V1 minus minus of 0.421 equal to 1. So 1.4 V1 equal 1 plus, so both are negative, so it becomes positive, 0.421 equal to 1. I bring this 0.421 from left side to right hand side, so it becomes negative. 1.4 V1 equal to 1 minus 0.421. So 1 minus 0.421 is 0.579. So V1 equal to 0.579 divided by 1.4. So that is equal to 0.4135 voltage. So V1, the node voltage, first node voltage V1 is, we calculated 0.4135. Now consider the sixth equation, minus 0.5 V2 plus 0.7 V3 equal to 0. Now here also substitute the V2 value, point minus 0.421. So minus 0.5 V2 plus 0.7 V3 equal to 0. So minus 0.5 into substitute the V2, minus 0.421 plus 0.7 V3 equal to 0. Here both are negative. So 0.5 into 0 0.421 is 0 0.2105 plus 0.7 V3 equal to 0. Bring this term in the right hand side. So 0.7 V3 equal to minus, it become minus, minus 0 0.2105. So V3 equal to minus 0 0.2105 divided by 7. Bring this 0.7 in the denominator. By simplifying this, what we got? Minus 0.3008 voltage. Now V3 also calculated. So the node voltage V1, V2, V3 are calculated. So in this problem, the nodal analysis, nodal voltages are calculated by equation method. The same problem solved by matrix method. The link is available in the description box. The viewers can see that the problem solved by matrix method. Thank you.